Hey, how's it going guys? It's Curtis and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. Uh, so in this episode we're going to be trying to gather these bees and bringing them home because I want to start a sort of honey slash honeycomb farm. Um, the only problem is I have no idea how bees work. I'm not even going to research them before I start doing this. Um, I'm just going to jump right into it. So let's go ahead and gather some flowers because the at the very least I know that the bees are attracted to flowers. Um, I'm not sure what'll happen with this, um, but we'll see. So it looks like, okay, so yeah, this one's definitely attracted them. So let's see, if I place them around right here, is that gonna make more of them or do I have to breed them all first? What happens? I'm not sure. Uh, off in the distance, I can see another beehive. So what about this one? Does this one have anything in it? I'm not sure, I don't. I don't want to break it because then what if they come out and they all attack me? That's not going to be very good. So let's bring this one as far as we can. Let's see, I don't want to leave him behind. That's going to be quite sad. And it is raining. I, I, let's see, so I put all these right here. Is he going to go into this beehive? Oh, nope. I guess he's going to go right back home. Well, thanks. That's very helpful. Uh, trying to feed this one. That's not working. Oh, oh geez, I accidentally hit him. Ah! Oh, that's not good. Oh, are they still chasing me? Oh, uh, no. It looks like I'm okay. Oh, uh, that was so sad. Wait, when they attack me, do they, do, do they lose their stingers like in real life? Let's see. Oh. This one has honey. I would like to be able to make a uh, a bead nest. Oh, I thought I could get away with just running by and doing it. Oh, uh, that's so sad. Did I at least get the honeycomb? Let's check. Oh no, I didn't. It's still over there. Oh my gosh. And now what's gonna happen? Are they gonna just fly around? What happens when they're dying? I don't even have a bucket of milk. I should have thought this through. There's not even a cow anywhere near here. All right, let's let's go pick up that honeycomb. It doesn't look like they they sting me again afterwards. So, oh three, that's enough for a, a, a beehive. Or I'm sorry, a bee nest. That's good. Okay, so. Are you guys going to go into this? No? Alright. Well, maybe they didn't see it. Let's see. Oh, what? That wasn't even your nest! Why are you getting mad at me? Oh, man. That's three bees I just wasted because I didn't do my research. Alright, so let's see. Well, we're going to have to finally do it. We're going to make a diamond pickaxe. We're finally going to give it silk touch. And then we're gonna go steal some beehives. At least I think that'll work. Uh, should I name it? Nah, I'm not gonna name it. I don't know what I would name it. But alright, let's go find some bees. Alright, does this one have bees in it? I'm hoping so, so let's pick that one up. And let's go find another one. It's been like, what, 15 minutes searching for one? Let's find... Alright, got another one right over here. Uh, I hope there's no bees around. Let's listen. I think I hear the buzzing. So let's go ahead and take that one too. Hope no bees come after me for that. Uh, I haven't been stung yet, so that's good news. <laughs> that sure would suck though, wouldn't it? Now I gotta find some bees just in case. Uh, I'm gonna follow you right back to your hive, buddy. Unless you don't have a hive. Um, here, I have an idea. Let's, I'm going to place down a beehive, and then if you enter it, that'll be your new hive. Is it going to work? Oh, there's another bee over there. Is he going to jump in this hive too? Uh, nope, looks like he's running away. Doesn't want to be in this hive. Alright, let's go ahead and try capturing this one too. See. Oh yeah, all right, awesome. So now I should be able to take these home. 
But now I'm going to set up this little farm here. I'm going to throw this in a time lapse. I know you guys don't want to watch this. So, uh, here we go. Hey guys, so in this uh, time lapse, what I'm doing here is I'm going to set up sort of a bee sanctuary. Um, I really wanted to make something looking really cool. Um, I haven't really built anything really cool yet in this uh, series, and so I really wanted to make something. Um, so I'm using two different colored woods just because I want to get some good contrast in there, and it's a neat pattern. Checkerboards, it works for, for what it is, so we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm using dark oak and... Uh, regular oak planks to be able to do this and it kind of reminds me of uh, chocolate in a way like light chocolate and dark chocolate very interesting uh, palette I guess so I'm up here at the top I'm gonna finish off that and then let's see I think it's coming along pretty well so what I decided to do for the front I didn't want my farmers or any of my villagers to be able to get in it so what I did here was I ended up putting a uh, two different type of fences uh, one for each color so like if we have dark oak we're gonna use dark oak if we have regular oak we're gonna use regular oak and then uh, afterwards I decided to do the rooftop what I'm doing here is I'm making just a small layer of the checkerboard pattern but then on the inside of it what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill it up with glass and that's going to let the sunshine shine through which is uh, exactly what I want um, and I figured that would help out quite a bit. Next I'm going to put down some glowstone so there's some light in here surrounded by some chiseled stone and I think that'll look very nice as well. Uh, the only problem I started having here is that the villagers are now in my way um, so I spent a very long time trying to get them out of here um, as you can see, I'm trying to like push them out. Uh, they're falling into the holes that I'm making. Eventually, I did just end up putting some water buckets down and trying to force them out that way. Um, it took quite a bit of time just to get that done. I had to end up blocking off an entire area just so that um, I can get them out without uh, worrying about it. And even that didn't work because I started putting down the dirt and they're jumping on top of it. But anyway guys, so uh, I ended up making these walls just so I can uh, do this. And it took uh, quite a bit of time to do it. Uh, I actually almost drowned a couple of my villagers. I drowned one of them. Um, and it, but it was just a nitwit. Um, I don't mean to say that it's like, oh, it's just a uh, one of our, our loser villagers. But it was, it was quite sad, I think. <laughs> he, he didn't deserve to die. He just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Um, I did not put it in this video because I did not want to show uh, me being a, a murderer on screen. Um, but we finally got all of our villagers out eventually. These ones, they're very persistent. Uh, so after that, what I decided to do was start setting up my sanctuary. I have a bunch of flowers in my inventory right now. Um, and so what I did was uh, originally I set up just a little bit of water on the ground and I didn't really like that, so I decided, you know what, maybe what I'll do is I'll uh, get some regular stone and I'll make a sort of waterfall, and so that's what I gathered right here for. Um, so what I'm doing here, I dug a little bit outward so that the water will be coming from an area and not just flowing from the, the front block immediately, and so I did that. And then I started getting my uh, smooth stone, or not sm smooth stone, my regular stone uh, together and started making this sort of little waterfall cave. It, it ended up looking decent, I guess. It wasn't my favorite, but it, you know, it wasn't the, the worst either. I think it came out pretty decently though. I started putting patterns in the flowers and then I decided uh, that that probably wasn't going to work and that I should probably uh, kind of mix and match it because I didn't want to make like a whole pattern system in here. So I uh, took down the pattern, started realizing it a different way, and my sanctuary was well on its way. I had so many flowers I didn't know what to do with, so what I decided to do was put up some dirt and then I would put the flowers on top of it. But uh, 
that took a while to configure too. I decided that I would put all the uh, two tall, two block tall flowers on the bottom and then all the one block tall flowers on the top. And that would really uh, help me out quite a bit with uh, planting these things because I wasn't going to be able to put a two tall, a two block tall flower on top. And so I, I just wanted to make sure I got that correct. And I ended up putting up some patterns too. It wasn't like completely unpatterned. And then I took some uh, time, I removed a little bit of the glass, um, threw down some wood for the beehives to hang from, and I would say that this thing started to look pretty good. Uh, so afterwards I threw down some campfires so that I'd be able to access them, and at this point I'd like to remind you guys that if you're not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe, click that notification bell to get notified for any upcoming videos, and if you're not following already, you can follow me on Twitter or support me on Patreon, both at Curtis Does a Dig. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video, this is episode 6, uh, I can't wait to keep making these and uh, start making episode 7, anyway, have a great day guys, see ya!